everyone doing well today? Um, I'm Nikki from Ruby Homestead. Welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today we are going to be continuing our Cornish Cross series. Okay, so this is week nine. All right, nine. So most people will butcher their chickens at eight weeks, give or take. In general, we let ours go a little farther because we feed a little different. Now, if you haven't been following, I explain why throughout the series. Now, a lot of people, their, their issue with Cornish Cross is they'll get overweight and they die of heart attacks, they can't walk, they're lazy, this, that, and the other thing. Um, we, I don't want my birds to be like that, so we don't feed as heavily as most people do. We have suffered two losses. I'm not sure what that was all about. We haven't had a loss since the last week's update. So I'm assuming it had something to do with our little cold snap. My assumption would be they probably piled on top of those two in particular birds and um, caused some problems, which is not, not uncommon. That does happen, especially if it gets too cold. So since then, what we have been doing with that is on the nights that it gets cold, we've been putting some hay down for them to lay on and keep their warmth kind of in. They're outside in the tractor, so for the most part, it's open. Um, they do have a side, well, two sides covered, so they're not completely in the elements. But, um, anyways, so I'm going to go get these chicks, and I'll bring them down, and I'll show you. Now, last week, it was hard to distinguish the difference between them, so we brought down two of each, the largest ones, we think, and the smallest ones, we think. Now, I haven't marked these birds in any way, so it's just kind of how, what they feel like when I pick them up. Um, I'll put them right here in this cage, a little pin, and um, I'll weigh them right over here in the shed. Stay tuned. Alright, so we have our Cornish Cross, what I think are the biggest and the smallest. Uh, I'm going to weigh them each on the scale, one by one, and I'll give you the biggest one and the smallest one's weight.